Hey, I'm Petrelli. Welcome back to my Brompton's channel. Let me ask you, what sound do you think this is? Yes, that's right. That's the nipple that's been broken off from the spokes and it's been rattling around inside the rim during my Brompton ride with my road bike gang. You want to know how it happened? If you do, just let me roll back the ride and see what we can do about it. So the morning didn't start very well, we have to fix the world by tyre before we get started. It was fun cranking with these guys even it means I had to crank more energy into the Brompton to keep up with them. But the unfortunate events happened almost right at the end of the ride. Oh man, it's any good to take on the road bike with the Brompton. The Brompton is such a beast in it. So how many of you have rode your Brompton with the road bike whoops before? Leave it down in the comment below. Let me know if there are any interesting stories to share. So what can you do if you have broken spokes on your Brompton? Well, there are really four steps to it. Step one, ask yourself if you still want to continue with your ride. I mean, having a broken spoke is very displeasing, sometimes feeling really sad as well. It might just put you off your mood on riding the bike. If you don't feel riding the bike, why don't we just fold up to Brompton to take a public transport to go wherever you need to go? As simple as that. Step two, if you do want to continue with your ride, now is the time to try to remove all the broken spokes from the wheel. I understand you may not be able to remove all the spokes from the wheel, I understand that, and we will go into this later on. If you can't remove all the broken spokes from the wheel, it's actually quite dangerous to ride it. All the spokes will be flying around, dangling around, it's actually very dangerous to ride. Now is the time to consider folding up your bike and take a public transport as well. Step 3. We had removed all the broken spokes from the wheel. Now's the time to check if your wheel still can spin freely on the bike. When I say freely, I mean if the wheel can spin true without having the rim in contact with the brake pad at all. If it does have a contact with the brake pad and you're not comfortable with it, it's the time for you to take a public transport as well. It seems I'm using the last three steps to try to send you home, but it's not. We have actually have a step four. So step four. If your wheel is actually spinning truly without having a contact with the brake pad, you can actually continue with the ride. I'm not saying it is 100% safe, but it's rideable. Like with our Brompton wheels, they got 28 spokes. Having one or two gone away is not really a big deal. You can actually continue with the ride, but, but you must bring your Brompton into the Brompton shop to have it checked and fixed, of course. Okay, let me give you a power tip. I genuinely running on this rule, whether to fix just a broken spoke or having the whole wheel rebuilt with the new spokes. If in the case of you are having three or less spokes broken from the same set of wheel in its lifetime, you can just fix up that particular spoke. But if you count up to three, starting from the fourth, you should consider rebuilding the whole wheel set with the brand new spokes. That's my power tip. So are we done? Well, I guess not. There's always a step five. There's always one more step. So step five, if you feel like you have really done enough checking here, fixing there on the wheel, and you don't feel like riding at all, there's nothing wrong with taking a seat, having a drink, and then take a public transport to home or bring the Brompton to the bike shop. After all, we are seeking for enjoyments when we ride our Brompton, right? So what is happening with my Brompton? After careful inspections, after I came home, I found there was like two broken spokes at my rear wheel. One, it broke off, it snapped off at the J-bend. The second one, the nipple actually snapped off from the end of the spoke. The J-bend is the area where the spoke connected to the hub. Usually that's like the favorite spot for the spoke to snap. And it happened to me. So like I said before, we should always try to remove the broken spoke from the bike. With the broken J-Band spoke, I could have easily unscrewed the spoke away from the nipple, but the nipple would drop into the rim 
and when I write, it will give me a lot of rattling sound. So I didn't do that. So what did I do with the broken spoke? I actually had it tucked in with a little bit of tension against the other spoke. So it will just stay there until I can ride my Brompton home and have it fixed. As for the other one, where the nipple actually snap off from the spoke, the nipple is already inside the rim. It's rattling. It's, it's very displeasing to me. That spoke, uh, I couldn't... I couldn't remove it from the rim because it was stuck against the sprocket. So what did I do? Uh, I In my rescue pack, I have a little zip tie. So I used a zip tie to tie it against uh, a fully functional spoke, just lean against it and have it tied on. I didn't have a cutter with me, so the end of the zip tie was rolling around everywhere. But I still can ride a bike. I still can ride it until home. So I guess the lesson that we're learning here in our rescue pack, other than all the spare tires and inflators and all the stuff, it's good to have a few cable tight there. It will rescue you at the very worst moment in your life on your bike. So this is like a must have on your rescue pack. Well, I guess that concludes our program for today. I hope you learned something new. If not, you at least find it half entertaining. As usual, if you enjoyed the video, please click that like button. If you don't like it, please comment on the reason why you don't like it. So make sure I can improve on the next video. Don't just press that dislike comment as well. So before I dash off, please let me complete the announcement of the lucky draw for the last video. I actually made this lucky draw two days after the last video, which has been published. So, and here are the winners. Let's see. This is all by random, not by me, because you can see. Okay. The first one is Zizu. Zizu. I hope you I hope I pronounce your name right. The second one we are having is Mr. Eric5452. And the next one. We have David Jung. David Jung. David Chung. And then the fourth we have Bun Wai Kok. And the final one. R. Ramesh Nadu. I hope I pronounced your name right. I've actually messaged you guys already. So uh, there is an email that you can email to with your address and contact so I can send the gift to you for you guys. So I hope I can bring you the next lucky draw very soon. What about Brompton for the lucky draw? Brompton? Give away Brompton. No, I'm not giving away Brompton just yet. We are not in that category just yet. But I know someone who does. Check this out. Oh, we've got a giveaway. It is an incredible one as well. We've got you a Brompton bike, a brand spanking new Brompton bike to give away to one lucky subscriber. Do you know how hard these bikes are to get? They are literally sold out absolutely everywhere. Now, this is going to be a special Instagram giveaway only. What you need to do is go down to my Instagram profile, The Cycling GK, give this picture that's on screen right now, a big old like, a big thumbs up, I will go through and pick somebody at random. You will be having this bike winging its way to you. It is a thing of beauty. Brompton, I absolutely bloody love you. And if I could get one of those electric bikes soon, that'd be absolutely incredible. <laughs> Thank you for watching, see you soon. So quickly heading over there, I actually put the link at the description, click over, Click over there, watch that video. He actually have descriptions on how to enter the lucky draw. And you might just be the lucky guy who get a free Brompton. Got nerves. So for the meantime, I shall see you on the next video. Dash.